18. I frequently get asked what my weekend is like, so I thought that I would rope Nick in here to follow myself and Alex around the hospital. So stay tuned, we be three or four episodes, breaking down uh, my shift over the weekend and what we got up to. I'm gonna start the day with catching up with Hubert. Hubert is a good friend of mine from the Vet Vault and he always chases me down for trying to develop the intros and uh, record the intros. So uh, I've tried to squeeze in 20 minutes here and there to, to get this done and this morning we're gonna get one done and this was for Dr. James Greenwood. I spent the day with James and Oliver. James is famous one-eyed Labrador in their home in the UK. We had a great time picking his brain about his early work experience, about finding himself out of his depth and dealing with imposter syndrome and how he tries to achieve that ever elusive work-life balance. He tells us how he took stock of his career and how he made veterinary science work for him. But anyway, have a good day. See you, mate. Now we're gonna rock and roll, jump into the car, and we're heading into the city, and then we'll do our ABC radio segment, which is today on, we're gonna just, generally it starts with a topic, and the topic we're gonna start off with is weight and what that means for pets. And then that generally rolls into Q and A's with people from across Queensland, and we get some pretty exciting calls. So let's get cracking. After the radio segment today, I head to the hospitals. So I am a consultant today, as as opposed to a consulting vet. So that means I'll assist the other vets with their diagnostic workups. Uh, perform ultrasounds or check, uh, redo diagnostics or assist with surgeries. So um, generally the day kind of, uh, it's pretty exciting because it's challenging and it's, it's tackling the more difficult cases in hospital and in the ICU as well. So it's a bit unknown as to what's going on, but we'll, um, after the, the radio segment, we'll give them a call and see which hospital to go to first, whether or not it's gently or whether or not it's underwood. This is Gerardo, uh, Gerardo Polly here to yes, see. Uh, Bay 39. Bay 39. Champion, thank you. 39, thanks. Yes. Thank you. I used to get a bit nervous at this part here. But now it's pretty exciting. I often wonder how close I can get to this thing before it hits my car. <laughs> so we'll head up into a holding area where they make you wait in silence for ages and it really actually causes your nerves to come along. No, they didn't do it on purpose. We can actually listen to radio, get yourself prepared, get your notes ready, have a glass of water, and then we'll go through into the studio. So we'll go up to the holding area. About to jump on ABC Radio. The segment we're going to do today is about weight, pets and weight. So log in to ABC Radio Brisbane and listen in. You're listening to Emma Griffiths on ABC Radio Brisbane and Queensland. Dr. Gerardo Polly is with the Animal Emergency Services. Uh, Gerardo, have you ever treated a camel? Oh, no. Uh, I've got a little um, crossbreed dog that just doesn't want to eat a lot, and I'm a bit concerned about him. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine, Trish. I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, he. He, he might eat for a couple of days, mm -hmm. and then for the next couple of days, he doesn't want to eat. Mm. Yeah, I, I can see why that's concerning. And it is. He's only seven months old. He's teething. Yeah. Quite hard at the moment. Yeah. Um, and what do you um, want to what do you want to try to avoid is the whole you're not eating. So let me just put some cheese on your dry biggies. That's what I did this morning. Ah, yeah, okay. And have you tried tuna yet? <laughs> okay, so, so yes, I have. you I've tried tuna? Yes. Yep, okay. He'll you tried... do it once, he'll do it once and gobble it up. Yep. Next time I put it on, <laughs> yeah, so, away he goes. Yeah, well, what Dino's doing is slowly training you on oh. what he will probably, um, you know, he's, he's going to turn you into a smorgasbord, like a sizzler smorgasbord. So. Oh. Well, well, you, you're going to have little little containers of chicken, uh, little containers of beef, and, and and tins of tuna and and cheese, and maybe some sauce, and then you're going to, and then he's going to train you which one he likes and which different days. So you're going to be tough, especially with a dog. Just finished the segment. It was pretty actually. It was really exciting actually. 
is a couple things I learned. One, that fat cats are called chonky. I think it's really cute. Next is that black cats are called voids. I just want a black cat now. So it's just like void. It sounds so cool. So sci-fi. I love sci-fi. And the last thing is that cat's claws are called murder mittens. Murder mittens. Yes, they were just murder mitten your eye out. So it was awesome. It was really cool. The question that I always get asked, I haven't yet really developed a really good answer to, is why do dogs eat their own poo? So that's almost like a weekly question. So I've got to come up with a really good example, uh, explanation for that. So maybe, maybe next time. Okay, so now we go back into the car and we head to work. Hey, righto. Hey, mate, how are you going? Good. Good, man. Good. Is, is there anything that needs checking? No, we're under control in here. We're all good. Cool, man. I'll head to yeah. Unders. Under control. Yep, cool, mate. Under uh, Unders. You uh, consult this weekend, eh? Yeah, mate. So if you need me, yep. you, just, you just call me. You just call me bro and I'll be there. All right, all right. Sweet. Bring your, bring your cat. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Have a good <laughs> yeah. day, man. I'll All see right. you later. Gotcha, mate. Bye. Got Brooke on our line. She's over in Perth at Perth Vet Emergency. She's doing a couple week stint there at one of our sister clinics. And she's got an ultrasound that she wants to talk about. What we have here is lung. And it looks a bit like liver. But actually, it's cons completely consolidated lung. So... I oh, look at you and your black scrubs, hey? Yeah, traitor, traitor. You know I found out today, I found out that black cats are called voids. Like the black void? Mm, I know. Oh. And, and, um, their, their claws are called murder mittens. I, I thought that was awesome, murder mittens, no? Uh that's ridiculous. No, that's really cool. That's really cool. Okay, let's talk some shop. What's going on? Oh, say hello, um, Nick. What did you think of the ultrasound? Yeah. Okay, so the lung looks like it has tissue signed, so it's completely consolidated. Consolidated. Yeah. So whatever's going on in there is pretty significant. It's quite focal as well, isn't it? So um, yeah. I don't... It doesn't look like as if there's like a necrotic core or anything like that. It just looks like solid. No. Yeah. There is no um, solid mass lesion. It doesn't look like, an, an, like a nodular mass lesion or something like that. Um, yeah. Or it doesn't look like something that's like a granuloma or, or it doesn't look like an abscess. Up cranial to its heart, all mm -hmm. the way down to its caudal lobe. So I think nearly the whole left side is. Whole left side. Solid. Yeah. 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 Could have vomited as it was laying down or silent gurged. Um, just double check the x rays and make sure there's no esophageal issues there. I didn't, I didn't think I saw anything yeah, on. I can't, I can't see one. So, do you reckon for this dog, mm. I just got it on Seth 22 Mick the Kick um, BID mm. and row 5 Mick the Kick IV SID. Mm -hmm. um, oxygen fly by, it's got nasal prongs in and tolerating it really well and SPO2 mm. is like 95 to 98. Mm -hmm. um, it's just on maintenance fluids, mm. supplemented the potassium because it was low. Yeah. Um, PCO2 is 41 mm. at the moment, so I'm not too worried. Mm. Um, and I put Torb in its bag, yeah. like we would with the patient. Yeah, sure. Um, that sounds reasonable. The And then the CBC and the biochem was normal, wasn't it? So. Yeah, biochem was normal. Even um, CBC was normal. But mm. on smear, I could see a higher percentage of bands to segmented. So. Okay, so maybe a left, trending towards left. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, well, then the only thing I would suggest maybe might be tracking for signs of sepsis. Maybe have a chat to Penny, see if there's anything that's local around there that causes that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cool. All right. Also, Sounds good luck. Good. See ya. Good job with your foreign body, eh? Thanks. Yeah, thanks. See ya. So, Brooks in Perth. It's weird seeing her in black scrubs. Normally wears blue. Um, and um, she didn't quite think that um, black cats being called voids was really cool. Or that kittens' claws are called murder, mur murder mittens was cool either.